Alex Salmond accusing Nicola Sturgeon of breaching a government ministerial code after she gave evidence to a Holyrood inquiry could destroy trust in the SNP, it has been claimed. The First Minister of Scotland gave evidence to Holyrood's Harassment Complaints Committee which is examining the Scottish government's handling of harassment complaints made against the former SNP leader. It comes after the SNP-led Scottish government paid out £500,000 to the former politician after they conceded a judicial review case brought by the former First Minister in January 2019. Mr. Salmon claimed Ms. Sturgeon had breached the code because she failed to inform the civil service of two meetings she had with him. It is claimed Ms. Sturgeon held a meeting with Mr. Salmon on April 2, 2018, and one with Mr. Salmon's former chief of staff, Jeff Aberdeen, on March 20, 2018. The first minister had said the meetings with her predecessor were because the politician was about to quit the party and therefore was SNP party business. Ms. Sturgeon denied the claims with a spokesperson saying she entirely rejects Mr. Salmon's claims about the ministerial code. The Scottish government's ministerial code says any minister found to have knowingly misled Holyrood should offer their resignation. Ms. Sturgeon added in a COVID-19 briefing, I do not consider I misled Parliament but of course that is for others to judge. At all times I will seek to put the interests of the country first, that's the most important thing for any first minister and, right now, the most important thing I have to do for the country is steer us through this pandemic. Murdo Fraser, Fife MSP and Scottish Tory member of the Harassment Committee said, the stakes could not be higher for the first minister. If she is found to have breached the ministerial code by misleading the Scottish Parliament, then she has to resign her office. Trust is an important commodity in politics, hard to earn, and easy to lose. It is particularly significant in difficult times such as the ones we are now in, when people are being asked to make substantial personal sacrifices for the greater good, or are being challenged to take risks. If current opinion polls are to be believed, the First Minister Nicola Sturgeon enjoys the trust of the majority of the Scottish people as a consequence of her leadership throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. In parallel, political support for the SNP has risen, as indeed has support for Scottish independence.